So the Lauren Hill uh, hallway picture is a part of the Broaden Exposure Fine Art uh, Collection. Uh, Broaden Exposure is 15 uh, moments that are part of the golden era of hip hop. Um, that is a part of the first fine art release uh, for, for my new fine art, uh, how let me try this again. Broaden Exposure is my first fine art collection release made up of 15 different images. The Lauren Hill picture just happens to be one of them. Uh, that moment was captured in 1997. Um, it was on the set of uh, Retrospect for Life. Uh, it was, Lauren Hill was directing it for Common Sense. Um, it was a lot of people there that day. Um, how to talk about the picture. So the picture itself, uh, Lauren was directing a shot in the hallway. Um, and even with Lauren, again, I've known her since 1993. And um, there's just a certain level of comfort uh, that Lauren and I share. Um, when she was around me. Um, so as she's, you know, she's working the video, in the video, out of the video. So there's a moment where like she finished shooting and she literally just needed to take a breath from all the guys. And you can see all the guys in the background leaving her alone. And then she sort of turns around and just meet her in this space. Like, yeah, I'm a camera, but she was comfortable enough with me where you could see her relax. You just see her just strong there. And it's just, that's the kind of space I was allowed to experience, if you would, you know, and, and that, that's a genuine moment because then I snapped a picture, a couple of pictures of her, but it wasn't like, yo, Lauren Paul, it was just, capturing what was there. And the, the reason why, I'll show you the reason why I love our comfort for she and I, and all, all different artists are in different ways. Um, but this again goes back to the Fuji. So um, a simple example of this, at Wyclef's wedding at the reception, uh, Laura and I are standing there talking or whatever, and her father walks up and she introduces me, hey, Eric, this is my father. And I look at him and I'm like, I know you. He's like, you know me? I was like, yeah. And she's like, and I was like, well, so what do you do for a living? He's like, I'm a computer scientist. I was like, I know exactly how I know you. I said, you work with my best friend's mother and you've been working with her since 1988, 1988. They're both computer scientists for at t Back in 1988, everyone didn't have a home computer. My friend's mother had a computer room. Like that's how advanced she was in computer science. So Lauren's father works with her on computer programming back in 1988, 1989, 1990. Fast forward, I said, oh, you're friends with so-and-so. Uh, you're friends with so-and-so. And he looks at me and he, just, and he realizes, oh, shit, I know exactly who you are because he knew me from being over my friend's house all the time, you know, just hanging out at the house where him and my friend's mother are always on the computers doing these programs for at t So I said, oh, you're friends with, when I said, you know, my friend's name, his eyes lit up. And then he's like, oh, yeah, I do remember you. And then Lauren looks at me like, I looks at him like, what the fuck? But that was uh -huh. that random moment. So that sort of solidified, not necessarily that we're buddies or friends, but it, it opens you up to be more comfortable around somebody. If your father knew you, knew me before she knew me. <laughs> um, but going back to that shot, it's that level of personal comfort that someone has with you or being patient enough to allow that, that moment of relaxed realness. You know, it's sort of like in the fine art piece, uh, Rayquan and Ghostface Chillin, where the guys are just very comfortable, like, like, like this, and you get this beautiful shot of ghost face in your face. That moment didn't just come. It took, like, they never met me. So it took time when we were outside and like, like okay, here's another photographer. Let's give him the hip hop pose. He's like, yo, 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 yo. Okay, yeah. thank you, we can go back. And I'm like, we did a little bit of that. And I'm just like, I didn't say it chill, but I got a couple things, but I'm not sitting there popping pictures. Cause again, I only got 36 frames. So, you know, I got some stuff with the guys working together, but then when they, we finally calmed down and they went by this beautiful green wall and they finally just relaxed and chilled. Like, that's when they let the guard down. I'm like, this is what I want. And got a couple moments, got another moment, got another moment. I was like, we're good. That's all I need. Like, I don't, I don't need to blast you because I got to pay for the film development once I'm done with them. You know what I mean? That's another $12 out of my pocket. The film's $10 out of my pocket. Commuting to New York was, you know, $15 one way into New York and then another 15 back and then food and coffee. But it's just like being patient enough to just to wait for that moment, whether it's Lauren just being or whether it's Raekwon and Ghostface or even if it's Rizzo with the rings, like it's something as simple as just saying to someone, you know, um, excuse me, can I take a picture of your rings? And then Rizzo stops and poses for you. So people are like, how do you do this? Just like you and I, like, hey, what's that on your back wall? Oh, it's my pose. It's, just, it's the same words. It's how do you use the words and communicate it? It's not like, yo, give me that fucking poster off your wall. Nah, yeah. no. It's just being, excuse me, like Rizzo, excuse me, like very peace. Once I get your attention, peace. Can I take a picture of rings? Sure, no problem. Boom, snap, snap. And funny enough, standing next to me at, at that moment was uh, Paz and his daughter, Paz from De La Soul and his daughter, because we were all there uh, because they were recording on MTV Studios for, uh, it was a segment called America's Dying Slowly. It was a CD that they released and De La was on it, Wu-Tang was on it. Um, 
and I've known the guys from Dayla for a while over the years, and we're comfortable enough. We're, we're Paz and his daughter, or we're, they're just outside just playing, like his daughter's playing with the lanyard, like, like spinning it around. And I have a beautiful picture of Paz and his daughter, just like she's playing around, and she's like a beautiful, loving moment, like we're spinning. And then there's another beautiful, loving moment where they're just looking at each other. You know what I mean? But it, it's not meant for the magazines. But it was just a gentle moment. I was like, that's cool as shit. You know, and then Riza happens to walk up, you know. Yeah.